Great. Uh, hi, my name is Curtis Smith and I'm running for City Councilor in Ward 20, Scarborough Southwest. The professional background that I think I'm going to be bringing to the City Councilor position is I have 24 years of experience as an officer in the Canadian Forces, leading soldiers, and subsequently as part of my second career becoming a military lawyer and now a civilian lawyer. That lawyer, the lawyer skills that I'm bringing, including advocacy and negotiation, combined with the leadership and management skills that I got as a, an officer, I think are going to be critically important important in the new atmosphere that we have in City Hall with a 25-person uh, council. Hello, my name is Gary Crawford and I'm running for re-election to continue serving as your City Councillor. I moved into this neighbourhood many, many years ago because I know what this neighbourhood is about. I brought my family up here. I love this neighbourhood, the community, the schools, the friends that I have met. I am the Budget Chief of the City of Toronto and I bring experience to this community, to advocate for you on your behalf, to keep the roads safe, to keep our communities safe, to protect the integrity of our neighbourhoods, to build better transit, to keep property taxes low, at the same time creating proper investments. My staff, they work incredibly hard. We have resolved over 14,000 issues in the last year alone. Last year, I attended over 100 community meetings on my own, on behalf of you. I will be here. I'll work hard. You can depend on me to be a strong voice for you at City Council. Vote for me, Gary Crawford, October 22nd. My name is Dr. Gerard T. Arbor. I'm a lifelong Scarborough resident. I've lived in the Scarborough Bluffs area with my family for 25 years and had a chiropractic office on Kingston Road for 25 years. Uh, I've been involved in many, many different layer, levels of community involvement from erosion control projects on Fishley Drive in the 90s, revitalization committees in the 1990s, 2000s for Cliffside Village, uh, avenue studies for Kingston Road in the 2000s, task force in Cliffcrest over the last few years, uh, and beyond that, have been a strong voice for improving and revitalizing Kingston Road, and I've been involved over the last couple of years in just promoting the Bluffs and Bluffs Living with a, a Facebook page called Bluffs TO. So with that in mind, I think I have a lot to offer and I show a lot of passion and pride in the area that I live. And I think I can bring a lot to the table. Yeah, I, my name is John Latanja and it's um, letonja.com. Uh, also, I, I respect taxpayers, which I will do, and I stop discrimination at City Hall. I won't raise your taxes. Um, I'll make new money for the city to, to pay for its needs. Uh, also, to um, uh, everybody will have an online vote. We have a referendum, so everybody can have a vote on state, major city issues and, um, and keep everything safe and reduce crime and everything else. Um, I just want, you know, I have no support. I'm just a one-man show, but I'm going to be able to do everything else, put my heart and goal to you. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks to the Scarborough Bluffs Community Association for having me here today and getting the word out on this historic election. So I am Michelle Holland Brardnetti and I live here in Scarborough Southwest right in the heart for the last 17 years. And I would say that I started off my career working for Herb Gray, who was then Deputy Prime Minister under Chrétien. And from there went to the Ontario Legislature and worked for a number of years before going into the private sector with new and emerging technologies. And I had the opportunity to work with a number of corporations before running for office in 2010 and then representing the area of Scarborough Southwest, Ward 35, for the past eight years as City Councillor. Uh, so I would say that uh, living here and the working at all three levels of government would make me the best candidate for representing this area once again for Scarborough Southwest, Ward 20. Hello, my name is Robert McDermott. I'm running for uh, City Council in Ward 20, Scarborough Southwest. I grew up and work in Scarborough as a realtor. For the past uh, 20 years since Scarborough was amalgamated with Toronto, we've seen our property taxes skyrocket and our services have declined. We need be much better representation here in Ward 20. Uh, the issues that I will be running on in uh, this upcoming election will be the de-amalgamation of Scarborough uh, to restore accountable, accessible government, 24-stop uh, LRT as opposed to the one-stop subway extension, uh, gun ban uh, for Scarborough, and uh, improved um, infrastructure.
Uh, I ran in the 2010 and 2014 municipal elections here in the ward uh, for city councillor, and I'm running uh, again uh, in this election. Uh, I would like your support, uh, and I'm running, as I say, for city council here in Ward 20 uh, on October 22nd, so I'm hoping that I can get your support for city councillor. Thank you. Hi, I'm Suman Roy, and I'm running for city council from Ward 20 Scarborough Southwest. I've lived in the ward for the last 18 years, and while I was, I'm not a politician, I'm a chef by trade, but I've really understood the world of politics and the halls of government. I've got for the last 10 years in City Hall, being on the Board of Health for the City of Toronto, and uh, working as a Food Policy Council and writing the first food strategy for the City of Toronto. I've also worked in different levels of government with the federal and provincial government in a lot of legislations. I've got the experience, I've got the passion. I live in the ward and I know what you're going through. So elect me on October 22nd to be your next city councillor. My biggest professional achievement was getting elected as a city councillor to represent Scarborough Southwest eight years ago. But not only that, my role as the budget chief and specifically increasing arts investment across the city has been one of my biggest achievements in my role as city councillor and of course as budget chief for the city of Toronto. So I would say that my biggest professional achievement was in 2010 when I was first elected to office for city councillor Ward 35, Scarborough Southwest, and then second was in 2014 with 70% of the vote when I was re-elected. Uh, it was a confirmation on the work that we did, uh, myself and my team, and I believe that we showed our strengths and what we delivered for our ward. Uh, above and beyond that, in this past term, I've had the immense opportunity to work in technology and innovation as the first chief advocate for the city of Toronto and the first female in that role. And I'm very proud of the work that we've done in making Toronto number one in tech and innovation clear across uh, North America. And secondly, bringing jobs right here to Scarborough Southwest and with new emerging technologies right here in our industrial lands and employment lands. I love seeing the revitalization and the jobs we're bringing to our area. 18 years ago, I came to this country with $42 in my pocket. Scarborough has been really nice to me. And from there, in 18 years, I've become the national corporate chef for a company called uh, Campbell Soup. I'm sure everybody knows about that. Uh, I've now am the executive chef at University of Toronto. And in this last 18 years, last five years, I've spent at the chair for the board of directors for an organization called Food Share Toronto, which is the largest food insecurity organization in Toronto. So I know the community, and I know community organizations. And I think that is my biggest achievement, is the journey that I have had in the last 18 years, starting with $42 in my pocket and today sitting in front of you, hoping to be your next city councillor. So I got a lot of the ideas or, or thinks that I could say are my biggest professional achievement. I'm going to go with my uh, tour to Afghanistan in 2009, where I was legal advisor to the commander of the Canadian contingent, where we were dealing with a whole range of things, where I was giving legal advice on basic stuff like the contract for bread, all the way up to legal advice to operational missions, to the rebuilding of Afghanistan itself. It was very enriching, and those skills that I got on that mission, and, and as an officer, I think will translate very well well to the potential job as a city councillor here for Scarborough Southwest. Yeah, uh, I'm an inventor and I, uh, I think outside the box, so which everybody, so it's, I have new ideas to make new money for the city and, and everything else. So I need, I need your support because I'm basically, I'm only a one man show and uh, no, I have no, nobody to, uh, uh, to, you know, uh, you know, support me. So, but it, for me, I definitely will work for you. There's definitely, I would do that. And um, I think outside the box and, uh, you know, I just want to, to help people to, to move ahead on anything and anything that you have, you know, anything, any, any issues. And I'll definitely work for you. I got no if and buts about that. And uh, that's the way I look forward to see 
what happens in the future. Um, I believe my biggest professional achievement is, I guess, 29 years of being a chiropractor and I believe uh, being a leader in my profession. Uh, I've been involved in many different levels of um, self-direction and self-management um, of the profession. Uh, working with the College of Chiropractors of Ontario, I believe I've been a, a teacher and a mentor to many young chiropractors and involved with uh, the Chiropractic uh, Examining Board, the National Chiropractic Examining Board since 2001, um, directing and helping to run the exams for new graduates each year. So over 29 years, I feel I've brought the gone as far as I can go proudly with my in profession and representing and giving good advice and good quality care to the patients that I've seen over the many years. Well I would say that my uh, biggest professional achievement would be um, uh, being a top producer in the real estate industry for the last uh, uh, 25 years. Um, it's uh, always been a, a real pleasure to work in the business that I'm in. I also uh, am very involved in community activities. Uh, it's one of the reasons I'm running for city councilor here in Ward 20. And I hope to make a, a big difference uh, if I'm elected uh, as councilor here in uh, the ward. Uh, so I'm hoping that I can get your support on October 22nd for a city councilor here, here in Ward 20. Thank you. I will start off by saying I do live here with family and I think that's important for uh, a candidate counselor. Uh, I believe very strongly about that. Um, beyond the people who live here, oh, I, I need more than a minute for this one, but um, our beautiful waterfront, uh, our parks, uh, the many parks we have by the bluffs and all throughout Scarborough, um, the diversity of the food offerings that we have on Kingston Road and many other areas of Scarborough. I just took a tour down Eglinton Avenue, recently discovered some gems and uh, the, the quality of the offerings and, and the diversity of food offerings we have is pretty unique. And again, um, I'm about as Scarborough proud as, as, as a guy can get. We have a rich, rich heritage in Scarborough, a lot of history of different communities and uh, there's just so much more to talk about with Scarborough and I think the heritage, the parks, the spaces, the, the offerings that we have uh, bring a lot to the table. Well I grew up in uh, Scarborough Southwest and uh, the um, area to me is very special. I'm very passionate about where I live. Uh, I'm running an organization called Free Scarborough. Uh, many of the residents in uh, Ward 20 and Scarborough in general uh, support the de-amalgamation of Scarborough from the City of Toronto. Uh, we have the Scarborough Bluffs, one of the most beautiful spots in uh, Canada, and uh, we have a lot of uh, recreational facilities in the area, and it's just a, just a pleasure to be brought up uh, in the area, and uh, uh, I wouldn't personally live anywhere else myself. I think because you. Of the, you got the beaches here, you got the parks here, you got uh, facilities, uh, Scarborough Bluffs, it's, uh, it's really well managed and it could be more managed better, but uh, we, first of all we have to get things working properly, but it's a really nice area to even be considered into this one and um, want to work with you and hopefully I want your improvements to tell me what's the best thing to do, what you want you to do in your area, and so we can work together. I like to get people to work together and not, uh, you know, and we'll just get, put it on an online vote and we'll just see what happens and then, you know, basically it's all for the community because it's all community based, right? And that's what I want you to do. Okay, so I really appreciate it if you could. Thank you very much, bye. Neighborhood is not only buildings, beaches, parks, it's about the people. But what is more important is the opportunity that this area, Scarborough Southwest has, the possibilities. And that is what makes Scarborough unique. We have three subway stations in this area. There is enough empty lands and industrial lands. And the opportunity is tremendous to welcome companies like Amazon, who is considering Toronto, but why only downtown? Why not Scarborough? Why not Scarborough Southwest? So now we are in the dawn of a new era in Scarborough Southwest. It is time we show the gateway of Scarborough and welcome new businesses, new companies, and the possibility and the tremendous growth that we hope we can achieve. What makes this area unique and special, is the reason I moved here, aside from the people, is the wonderful Scarborough Bluffs. 
the green space, the parks, the parkettes, the opportunity to see wildlife all over the place in our streets, in our parks, down by the ravines. But it's not only that, it's the history of this area of Kingston Road that divides this community and the history that Kingston Road brought from the connection point from Toronto, of course, to Kingston, and how we celebrate that through the murals across Kingston Road and the opportunity to see the re-establishment of, of some of the, the walkability or what makes this community great for the residents who live here. So, uh, what makes it unique? I made this my home, and it's my favorite place in all of Toronto and really, quite frankly, all of Canada, and we're blessed with ravines. Uh, we're blessed with parks. We're blessed with a massive tree canopy clear across Scarborough and the iconic bluffs. Uh, it's, we have nature all around us, and I don't think that you have that anywhere else in Toronto quite like you have that here in Scarborough Southwest. So uh, we can't go wrong. We're blessed with nature. People come here from all over the city to see the bluffs. Uh, we know that it's beautiful and it's mesmerizing, and also it's just being with nature. And I think that that's what makes it so special and unique. Uh, so when my wife and I moved here to Toronto, we didn't really have any ties to any particular part of Toronto, so we had an open slate to be able to pick where we lived. Scarborough Southwest, in our particular area, and the Bluffs appealed to us for any number of reasons, including just the natural beauty of the Bluffs and the parks, the ability of just the communities, the way they were set up, and the amenities. Variety Village uh, for my wife, who is an athlete with a disability, the Pan Am Sports Center a little bit on, outside our ward but close enough to use, and all the various other pools, parks, and uh, other recreational amenities. That's what really drove us and what we think it makes uh, Scarborough Southwest a bit of a gem. Okay, so this is what's your favorite 70s, 80s, or 90s jam? That is okay. I would say for the 70s, Elton John, uh, 80s would be Whitney Houston, and 90s would be Shania Twain. Okay, what is this? You've been given an elephant. <laughs> you can't give it away or sell it. What would you do with it? Uber elephant, you can use it to ride and probably a little more environmentally friendly than the cars that we and buses we see out. And uh, there's less chance of an accident, but however, it is uh, really majestic. So I would probably use it as a mode of transportation. You're a new addition to the crayon box. What color would you be and why? Well, I'd be color blue. Uh, blue is a motivational color for me. Uh, I've always, uh, uh, it's always been my favorite co color, actually, and, um, and I feel good uh, about the color. Uh, so um, for me, like I say, it's a motivational color, and I feel good uh, with uh, the color blue. All right. What songs best describe your work ethic? Holy jumping. That's a good one. <laughs> Wow. Sultans of Swing. I like to roll that way. That's a good one. Now, just about any song by the Goo Goo Dolls, um, Foo Fighters. But I think if I had to pick one song, Sultans of Swing and uh, Don't Fear the Reaper. Blue Oyster Cult. Done. Thanks. All right. <laughs> Awesome. What song best describes your work ethic or songs best describe your work ethic? So I had to do some thinking about this. Thankfully, we had a bit of a heads up. So I'm going to say first off, I'll go with an oldie and a little Frank Sinatra action my way. And I brought the lyrics just to make sure I got it. Regrets have had a few, but then again, too few to mention. I did what I had to do and saw it through without exemption. I planned each charted course, each careful step along the byway and more, much more than this, I did it my way. I think that's what city councillors have to do. And I think that 
that describes the way I would be a city councilor. Let's add taking care of business as well, a little BTO. I think that's an awesome work that ethic song as well. Okay, a question uh, here. Which one did you have? Uh, A, uh, for A, it's a, you're, you're a new addition to Crayon Box. What color would you be and why? I'd be fluorescent blue uh, because, you know, fluorescent blue it stands out and, you know, it's just to be more colorful and be more, you know, to, to show yourself. Like, you know, that you're, it's not being, it's a great, it's a great color. I like it. Okay. You're a new addition to the crayon box. What color would you be and why? Before I became a politician, I was an artist. I'm a painter. I love color. Any of my paintings have a whole myriad of colors in them. So what I would want to do is I would want to have my crayon. First of all, when I was a kid, I liked to melt my crayon. So what I would do, I would choose one of every color and I'd melt them into one and it'll create something new, something exciting and it'll be different every time. So it's not just one, it's a myriad of colors that I'll combine and we'll see what happens. The one thing I, I feel the, I want people to remember about me is that I worked hard for residents here in uh, Ward 20. I've been involved in a lot of community activities in the ward. Uh, I grew up in the ward and um, I want to make Scarborough a better place to live. Uh, it's one of the reasons I started the Free Scarborough campaign is to um, get people involved and, uh, and hopefully uh, make some changes that will uh, benefit Scarborough in the long run. But I guess the main thing I'd want people to remember me by is that I'm a hard worker uh, and uh, I'll represent the best interests here of uh, people in Ward 20 and in Scarborough in general uh, and they'll get the best representation possible from me if I'm elected to City Council. So I want them to remember that I'm the second to last name on the ballot, so that's very important. But more importantly, I want them to remember that I intend to bring professionalism to the city councilor position. My background as an officer in the Canadian Forces and as a lawyer are going to bring the skills that are so incredibly important to City Hall to be able, for us to be able to make some decisions about very critical stuff like the subway, like public safety, like poverty reduction, like all of these critical, critical issues. So please remember, please think about the background of your councillor and think about me, what I'm going to be bringing to the table. So what I want residents to remember when they're at the ballot box is that I deliver for you. And at the last election with 70% of the vote, I know that my team and I delivered for residents. And I can guarantee that during the next four years, I will deliver for you once again. The one thing I want the voters to remember is I work hard for you. I'll be there for you and I'll be a strong advocate for this community at City Council. You probably won't remember me because you're because of name recognition. Um, I think over the last many years in, in city politics, there's been a lot of name recognition that has got people carried further than perhaps they should be carried. But if I want you to remember one thing about me um, is that the last name starts with A, and you have to go through A on the ballot box. So I hope you consider that. Uh, beyond that, if and that's being a bit funny about things, but uh, please remember that and the fact that. Um, the reason I'm doing this and perhaps giving up a career is uh, for change um, and I'm supported by many people as at the Give a Darn Meter for Scarborough, Scarborough Southwest and the Scarborough Bluffs uh, runs pretty much off the charts and that's why I'm doing this and um, I think I can bring a lot to the table. And thanks for this opportunity from the SBCA, uh, it's very much appreciated. I'm a hard, hard worker. I've, I've been a chef all my life. 20 hour days are not un, uncommon for a chef's life. I'll work hard and I'll outwork everybody else who is on this ballot. And that is my commitment to you. Uh, we will be here, I will be here with my team for you whenever you need me as your counselor. That's my promise. Vote for me at, on October 22nd, right when you're looking at the ballot and I'll be here for you, I promise. Remember about everything, what I've said to you. Like, uh, you know, 
basically what you want what you want done and is what's supposed to be done. And if I don't do it within if I don't do it in four years, if you like me, I'm I'm out. I'm not, I won't do it ever again. Because uh, you know we need to. I have to make a change. If we don't make a change like this, but uh, I want you to be. I want you to be uh, uh, to know what's going on. I want you to check every, do everything that, you know, when I told you that I'm going to say I'm going to do. I want you to think about that. Everything what I said, I'm definitely going to do it for you, and, I'm going to, and that's what I prefer to do it. But if I'm not going to, be, if I'm elected, I don't get it. I'm out. Okay, thanks. I respect you, and God bless you.